Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and here we talk about fragrance, beauty, and wellness. So if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So in today's video, I just recently went to Victoria's Secret and they had these fragrance cards out with all their fragrances because you know, they don't want you sniffing and spraying a ton and all of that. And you know, I must say on a side note, Ulta and Sephora and these other places, come on now, if Victoria's Secret can do it, can't y'all do it? Put these fragrances out so we can smell them and sample them. So I said, go on Victoria's Secret, do your thing. I was so excited. So this is what I plan to do in this video. There's some fragrances that I have not smelled from Victoria's Secret, and then there's some that I've smelled and I don't remember how they smell because I smelled them, you know, a couple years ago. So I grabbed all the ones that I could find. Some were, you know, they were um, already out of them, but I grabbed the ones that I don't have the full bottle of fragrance to see which one are full bottle worthy for me from Victoria's Secret. So we're gonna start with dream angel so if you watch my victoria's secret semi-annual sale haul i hauled the satin body oil mist in this fragrance and fell in love so i said well let me see if i would still like the perfume because you know different the the fragrance can smell different in each formulation so let's see i'm excited because this was on my list to purchase anyway for this fall season winter so let's see if i still like it i do like it but i i like it better it was like sweeter in the um satin oil mist it's still good though but yeah it was sweeter in that one But you know the good thing about Victoria's Secret with their fragrances, if I don't want to pay for the perfume, I still like this enough to say, okay, I'm gonna go get the lotion and body mist. So right now, just based off of the fragrance, because I'm not having put it on my skin yet, but smelling it from the card, I would say this would definitely be a lotion and body mist for me. But after I play with it on my skin, let me see y'all. Cause I have so many, I can't do this with all of them. But this one was on my list. Okay, let me see if I can get it to. Okay, on my skin, I'm saying full bottle worthy. So I'm gonna stick to what I thought. And I'm gonna say Dream Angel for me is full bottle worthy. It's very, it's sweet, creamy, kind of a woody fragrance. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I like that. So next is their newest fragrance. And I was so excited because I was trying to find the bottle to smell the bombshell passion and I didn't see one and I said what is up and that's when I noticed the cards and the bottle to this is so pretty so let's see because I am not a fan of the original bombshell the only bombshell I have is I think it's bombshell intense and that's the cherry one that's so pretty it's in the red bottle it's good Okay, I like this one. It's very floral though. I smell rose and like a syrupy, floral, predominantly rose, but it's very pretty. I don't know if I would, let me see. I got, I, I, been filming my other Victoria's Secret videos. So I think some fragrance mist got on me. So I don't have a lot of empty space. Let me see. This one right now, cause you know, their fragrance, I think starts at 58 goes to 78. Right now, this is not full bottle worthy for me at full price, but I would get a lotion and fragrance mist in this. 
and mm, yeah I would probably you know their Black Friday sales and I never go to Victoria's Secret for Black Friday because I'm, I've always been more interested in their fragrance mist and their perfume but I've been liking you know I wait for their perfume for uh, semi-annual but this I wouldn't think would be at semi-annual so for Black Friday when they have their fragrances at 25 bucks I would pay 25 bucks for this full bottle so not full bottle worthy right now at full price but at a discounted price yes and that's bombshell passion so we're gonna finish off with the last bombshell because i believe i said this previously i don't like the original so i don't have that here it's not full bottle worthy for me because i just don't like it and i have a full bottle of the bombshell intense and that is the red cherry one so this is bombshell seduction i am so excited to finally smell this because it has a note of sage in it and you know that's not a note i'm familiar with so i was like i'm just not i have to smell this one i'm not gonna blind buy a victoria's secret fragrance starting 50 some dollars that's just not how shaughnessy rolls not at vicky's no i'm not paying full price for their perfume this smells familiar to me if you the original bombshell is a to me a very citrus i smell grapefruit immediately it's a very citrus light fragrance the bombshell intense that's like a cherry sexy cherry vanilla sexy fragrance the bombshell passion is a very to me jammy syrupy floral rosy very rosy fragrance you have to like florals floral fragrances to like the bombshell passion this one is the warmest to me it's very soft it's <sighs> to me it smells the most like the original bombshell but just with warmth added to it So no, smelling it here, this one is not full bottle worthy for me. I don't, right now, just smelling it, I don't even want the, the mist and the lotion. But that could change, but for now, I'm gonna say this one is a no for Shaughnessy, Bombshell Seduction. Okay, this one I was excited to smell because when it came out during the summer, people were like, oh, this smells like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. And that's very sexy C. So I want to know, does it smell like a light blue? Y'all, doggone it, it does. <laughs> it does smell like light blue. I wouldn't say a straight up dupe, but this would be in my, if you fancy this and that, if you fancy light blue, you would fancy very sexy theme. I wouldn't say it's as sweet and light and pretty as the original light blue. It's, it's a note in here. that's giving me like a heavier drop base to it than light blue. Like light blue with a kick. And I don't know if I love this kick. This would be one I would have to try out on my skin, but just from smelling it here, I wouldn't say perfume full bottle worthy for me but I would say the lotion and the mist I'm interested in this yes but not right now right now I'm, I'm more into I want the sweet delicious scents I don't want the freshy scents right now but in general yes I would be interested in the fragrance mist and the body lotion for a very sexy C full price worthy full bottle no on sale yes 
This is another one I was excited to smell because I just recently purchased the Very Sexy perfume after years of not liking it, for one. Then I got a free like body spray and uh, I bet it's been about 10 years and I just never bought it. And I bought it and was like, yes, what took you so long, Charlotte? See, so I really want it to smell very sexy night because people, I've, I've seen maybe one, maybe two people talk about this fragrance and the reviews, I couldn't tell if I would like it. It's got great reviews, but I just couldn't tell. So let's see. Okay, smelling this from the card, this is more masculine than I would prefer, usually. It's kind of, um, I think what comes to my mind is masculine spicy. So for now, I'm gonna say this is a no for me in any form right now. I don't want the mist, I don't want the lotion, I don't want the perfume. But as I said with the bombshell seduction, I'm gonna have to wear it on my, you know, try it out on my skin when I can, and then we'll see. But for now, it's a no. Okay, we have two more to go. This one I know I smelled and I did not like it, but I can't remember how it smells. <laughs> so this is Victoria's Secret Love. And I couldn't find the, you know, they have this one and the green bottle. I couldn't find a card for the green bottle because I've never, never smelled that one. So let's see if I still don't like love. I can't really smell it. I can't really smell anything from this one, y'all. Let me wait. Okay, this one I kind of do remember now. This is one... Smelling it right now, I don't hate it, but it makes me think of Coco Mademoiselle. It's like a citrus... Kind of a warm citrus fragrance. I'm not hating it. I'm not disliking it. This is one I would need to smell. Because I don't feel like this had enough fragrance on this card. But this reminds me of like a warm citrus fragrance. It puts me in the mind of Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. So this is one that if I went to the store and maybe they had the fragrance mist out where I could spray it, then I would have to see. If it really smells like Coco Mademoiselle, then no, I wouldn't be interested because I already have Coco Mademoiselle I'm trying to use up and I have Sophia, which reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle. Could I, would I get the lotion and the fragrance mist to layer? With the perfume, maybe. You know, so if this, let me see if I can smell that. But it also kind of has a sharpness to it. This one doesn't make me think Victoria's Secret. So this is a no for now in all the formulations until I can test it more on my skin. So the last one, I've smelled it. I just can't remember how it smells. And I know this is, I think their top seller or one of their top sellers, and that is Tease. And I just can't remember how it smells. I even wore this. I wanna say Tease Noir. So let's see. Y'all, I have heard that this reminds people of Viva La Juicy, and right when I smell this, that's what it reminded me of, Viva La Juicy. So, 
Would I buy a full bottle of perfume? No, because I just purchased, excuse me, <clears throat> I just purchased a full bottle of Viva La Juicy for nostalgic reasons. So no, would I purchase the lotion and mist to layer with Viva La Juicy? Yes, I would because it smells that similar to it. So I would get the lotion and the mist when there's a good deal because this is not like their um, regular fragrance mist line. This is the line with their perfume, so they're they're more expensive. So if a good deal came along, yes, I would get this to layer with Viva La Juicy because it does really remind me of that. So out of all the ones I mentioned, three are the ones I said no for now. Love, Very Sexy Night, and Bombshell Seduction. I would not purchase anything right now. Those would be ones I would have to test out on my skin. Tease, I would purchase the lotion and the mist. Very Sexy C, I would purchase the lotion and the mist and the fragrance if it was at a decent price, but not right now because this is very summery and I'm just not in the summery frame of mind right now. Bombshell Passion, I would purchase the I think I said the full range, but the perfume, I would not pay full price for the perfume. And also this is very floral, very pretty floral, but be aware you have to like floral fragrances in order to like this. Dream Angel, I would purchase the full bottle of fragrance. It, depend, it would depend on how much I wanted this fragrance in my collection, would I pay full price? Usually I don't pay full price for anything at Victoria's Secret. Do I want to wait until Black Friday to purchase this at the $25 mark? I don't know. If I want it before, I would wait till I got a coupon. But yes, I would. Uh, I definitely want a full bottle of the fragrance Dream Angel. So you all, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me what perfumes you like at Victoria's Secret and which ones you would be willing to pay the full price. Because the beautiful and wonderful thing about Victoria's Secret, if you don't want to pay you know, the full price for these fragrances, you can always get a nice high quality fragrance mist and lotion and still be doing just fine. So just let me know what fragrances you're liking from Victoria's Secret right now. Please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And please share this video with anyone who you think would be interested. I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by September 9th. I think about 150 more to go. I would really appreciate if y'all would help me reach my goal. I've been saying in previous videos by September, I really wanted it, you know, by September 1st, but I'm trying to get there by September 9th because I go back to work full time and I just wanted to reach the goal of 1,000 subscribers before I got back in the full swing of things working at school. So on that note, as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.